uh, see you stressed out just like Cardi B. Don't worry, I got you. Now, don't stress yourself. If you ask 10 Jamaicans or 10 people generally what that instrument is, 7 out of 10 won't know what it is either. Probably half of those 7 that don't know what it is probably think it's some sort of crystal ball or something that is used to foretell the future yeah but the instrument that you're seeing on your screen it is called the Campbell Stokes sunshine recorder and it is used yeah, to record the sunshine let's find out about it all right so the Campbell Stokes sunshine recorder it consists of a glass ball or a glass sphere whichever you want to call it and this glass ball is totally clear it's transparent and it is mounted upon a wooden frame and held in place by several bolts and rivets and stuff like that now beneath the glass ball you see that curved area inside there there's a card and this card is divided into several intervals 12 actually and these 12 intervals represent 12 hours of the day so that's right the Campbell Stokes sunshine recorder its unit of measurement is hours so it looks at how many hours of sunshine occurred or happened during the day now this glass ball as I said, it's round and it is in the sun's light and it acts similar to a magnifying glass and you know how a magnifying glass works. Yeah, some of you are mischievous little students who like to burn stuff and, and yeah, I think one of my students told me that they burn insects and puppies and yeah. So, the, mag the crystal ball focuses the sun's light to a small point onto the card and it actually scorches a line right across the card and right across all the intervals so that scorch line or that burn line will tell you exactly for how many hours the sunshine was in the sky you got that? yeah I know yeah I, I see it in your face I know what you're asking so if it's a card and we normally use magnifying glasses to burn and scorch stuff won't the card get burnt up before the meteorologist gets a chance to look at it and record how many hours of sunshine well luckily they thought about that and they treat the card with a special gel or a special chemical and this chemical allows the car to be flame retardant so it actually burns but it doesn't produce any flames so you will see the scorch mark and the scorch mark will represent how many hours the sun shone in the sky if you see an area where there is no burn mark or no scorch marks that probably means that maybe a cloud came across the sun's um, direction and therefore there was no sunshine for that hour or those minutes whichever it may be so it's very simple you know basic as i always tell people everything in geography is pretty simple if you sit down and you think about it just observe the patterns all right so this is very dangerous work Job. Uh, so here's an example of what I mean when I say the card is divided into intervals. Are we seeing this? Yes, yes sir. sir. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yep. And is that a cup soup holder? <laughs> Is that a what? A 
It's the thing the pop food come in. No, it's a special car that I bought online. It is not <laughs> any it's not any cheap thing that comes off the soup. How dare you? Sure about that, sir? How dare you? It's not soup it's stuff. It's pretty obvious. Go away, leave me alone. <laughs> Alright, so. Alright, so obviously this is not the Camel Stoke Sunshine Recorder. However, for all intents and purposes, you can see what is happening. So if the sun is being focused through, this is representing a glass ball, which is really a magnifying glass here. This experiment. Wind, 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 wind. Yeah, Can't hear wind you. Is. Imagine if a heat wave just came. Alright, so I'm gonna try to adjust this. Sir, put your hand on the door. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Why don't you put one of your hands on your leg? All right, sure. I'm gonna give you two the screen. So this is so anticlimactic. Like. Somebody who pays bills at the house. Yes, sir. I do. Wow! Wow! Guess what happened as I am going inside. <laughs> you sent him. Oh God! That rough, sir. Alright. Sir, put the camera yeah. on the cat's first thing. I'm going back in. You know what I mean. <laughs> Clear the sun doesn't want me to be great. And wow, look at this. Look at this. The little sun that the sun came out, the magnifying glass started to melt the plastic again. So it doesn't want to focus on my experiment, but it wants it to has be its own thing to do. Look at it melting the plastic. <laughs> like final destination type of my level it's right here. Yeah, tell it melt the cat. It takes one cat to walk in that magnifying glass and bring it so. No, it actually melted all the way from here to here. So that is what so this is how the actual device works. So it is light shines through and as the sun appears to move across the sky it burns a line straight across the card just like what is happening with this plastic I was out here while I was outside teaching so I just shift the thing over the paper I'm turning it inside, I'm giving it. Anyways, it's Sir, probably it's like even one o'clock. It's probably like one o'clock. You can't do it. Fight it. 